Welcome to my East Sussex allotment diary for the second week of April. First job I do when I visit the allotment is go to the polytunnel and inspect how my seedlings are progressing. Sunday morning the 8th of April was no different from the rest and I was a little bit despondent on the progress they were making. I did a video of how the seeds were doing and it wasn't very impressive and the video wasn't very good neither. It was handheld, it was jumpy and I thought I'm going to have to do this again. And I did it again or attempted to do it again on the 12th of April and what I found was that there was a big difference between the 8th and the 12th. A lot of progress had been made with my seedlings in those four days. So I disbanded doing the video again. What I did was a number of shots to demonstrate just how well they were actually doing. Monday the 9th of April, having inspected my seedlings and made a couple more sowings, in particular some uh, lettuce, um, I'd sorted out a piece of timber for the middle rail of the panel at the side of the door. And uh, I cut it to size, drilled it and screwed it in position. It was still a bit damp on site, so after finishing this rail, I went home and sorted out a piece of timber for the bottom rail. And in between this, my wife took the daffodils I brought her and uh, put them into a, a suitable vase. The prepared timber was duly brought back to site next morning and screwed into place. Good firm job that. The weather on Tuesday had improved greatly from the start of the week, particularly in the afternoon. So I thought it was a good chance now to get some more seed sowing. And for this I'm sowing my parsnips. Before returning home I fixed on a, another piece of uh, plastic onto the inside of the door frame, securing it with staples and driving them home. And then with some scrap timber I took some dimensions for the opening light, which I will make tomorrow morning. Using the scrap timber that I used yesterday I set these out to the saw, putting a stop in position 
so that when I cut the timbers I had four pieces of wood exactly the same size. I have to say at this stage that the timber I selected to make this opening light was the roughest bits of timber I had available and, and it looks pretty grotty now but uh, after a bit of work I did actually uh, get it looking reasonably well as you will see later. The method of jointing was the pocket screws I used for making the potting bench. It's just the stand of the timber this time was a lot worse. The router produces round corners, so they have to be squared off. Here's one done, three more to go. The cleaning up process was completed and then we took to it to be painted, which took the longest time. Making the frame only took a couple of hours, but because of the drying of the paint coats, it, it took the rest of the day. For the glazing, I used some spare plastic sheet which I had in the shed, and these were tap nailed into the frame. hole was cut in the sheet polythene to take the opening light. I tested the opening light frame in the opening earlier just in case there were some adjustments were required but none were. Happy with the fit I purchased some uh, hinges fitted them and then screwed the opening light into the frame. Before I show the shots of the, the sewing, I'd just like to mention about the keeping of the temperature in the poly and these are the results for the, these days. So today we're going to do some carrots and these are Nantes 5. Carrots are in and there's just time left in the day just to do a spot of weeding and uh, today it's going to be the rhubarb pack. I mentioned at the start of the video that on the 12th I reassessed the seedlings and this is just a shot of what I took. But the main point of interest was the surprise on the lettuce, which had come through in just four days. Saturday, the 14th of April, the last day of the week, and it was promised to be a really humdinger, and it turned out really warm and hot. But it started off very, very misty, but you could feel this was going to get burnt off and we were going into a brilliant day on the allotment. Mm -hmm. 
So, though it felt a really warm sunny day, if you look at the temperature chart, it wasn't actually the warmest day of the week. And what's interesting is how the temperature dropped in the polytunnel while I had the opening light in the shed and that was just a, an open to the elements. So it must have had some effect but I need to do more tests. I hope there's plenty of comments about that. But thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, found it interesting. Welcome to my new subscribers, there's been one or two. And if you really like the video, a thumbs up would be nice. And share the video as well. I've never said that, I don't really know why we share the videos. Can somebody tell me? But I've been told that I should. But until next week, uh, it's time to go. So, bye.